All right. So here we are another week uh, for another installment of the Suited Shootist. Um, hopefully everybody is kind of making it through whatever their personal quarantine self lockdown is uh, without too much, uh, without, you know, without anything too eventful. Um, I know a lot of folks are going stir crazy, so hopefully this at least gives you a, a little bit of a distraction. Um, so one thing that I wanted to talk about today was a conversation that I was having with a couple different folks um, in regards to making sure that their wardrobe was balancing properly to set them up in the best position possible for their concealed carry gear. Um, there's another guy out there, uh, Jeff Mao over at Tenacore, who puts out some great content on Instagram that talks about how your clothing interfaces with the rest of your carry setup. So if you're not following him already, absolutely do so. And one thing that hasn't really gotten touched on a lot is ride height, not of the gun, but of your actual pant waistband, the, the rise of your trousers. Uh, for some folks, this is probably a completely foreign concept because <clears throat> a lot of a lot of dudes are unaware of the fact that the distance between the actual crotch where the legs split to the waist of the pant can differ. Uh, and that's what's called the rise. And where that rise is, is important because that's going to position the grip of your pistol. Uh, in addition, it's going to determine where it is on your body and how you're shaped is going to come into this as well. So the first mistake that a lot of folks make is that they, they don't wear their pants at a proper height. Um, so since I'm new to the YouTube space and am basically a desperate whore for followers and likes, I'm going to be getting naked for you folks. Let's see what that does. Um, what we're looking at is when it comes to the actual waist, a lot of guys, especially if you're not in your prime athletic build, tend to have a little bit of a squish in the midsection. And what most will tend to do is they'll ride the waist down below the belly because they feel like that's more comfortable. What that does is it starts forcing the pistol out further because the wedge is no longer really getting as much contact with my body to cam it inwards. So like this, it still conceals okay, but especially you can kind of start seeing as I turn, the grip is a little bit more visible. Whereas, and not to mention the fact that at this point, my gut is pressing the gun into my body, and so it's creating a hot spot down against my leg and my thigh. If I wear these at my natural waist, my belly button's about here. Now, all of a sudden, I've got contact with pretty much the entire back of the holster body to the point where this becomes a lot more concealable. Um, and just to prove the point, this is my daily carry 19. That's a full size 17 mock-up. Even that is still pretty much gone. So that's just something to keep in mind is that whenever you get your pants on, you want the crotch of it up in your crotch. Um, and you want to make sure that you are wearing it at your natural waist. Now, that's where the rise comes into play because these are just a pair of Levi Chinos standard rise. 
if you change out the pant, that's going to change some things as well. So let me go ahead and swap this out. And I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've changed out. These are a mid-rise. So they're, the distance is a couple inches shorter than on the tan pants. And so even though my natural waist is here, it actually sits a little bit lower. So for me personally, I prefer a mid-rise, um, especially if I am actually going to be tucking my shirt in just because I tend to have a fairly short torso. And so it helps the visual balance just kind of even me out. Um, if I wear a, a standard height pant, it cuts me off and makes me look disproportionate. That is purely a cosmetic thing. It's not something functional, but it is still important. So just something to keep in mind on that. Um, I don't have any low rise uh, hip huggers or anything like that. So I'm going to spare you something of that effect. But uh, just to give you an idea, even just a couple inches of drop uh, in the in the rise of the pant. And it is, you can kind of tell if you look at the pattern of the shirt, how it's interrupted right here. What's happening is the gun is pushing out, creating a shelf that the shirt is falling onto. Um, so all that means is that I have to be aware of this. If I cinch the belt down a little bit more, now all of a sudden you see the drape is a little bit uh, more consistent, but there's still a little bit of printing over here. You can see the stripes are kind of bowing out a little bit. So this is one where I may have to play with the cant a little bit more in order to really get it where I want. Um, so it's just all this stuff comes into play and it does matter. Um, so that's why I wanted to touch on it. And just again, for the purposes of this exercise, go with the full size gun. And again, it's not too bad. If you know what you're looking for, you can still see that it's there. Um, I mean, there's a reason I don't carry a 17. I feel like that extra grip length is a little bit too much for me to carry as discreetly as I want. Your mileage may vary. This is just information for you to consider. So this is all stuff that kind of um, people touch on. I know Spencer Keepers in his appendix carry um, skills class touches on, on ride height, but I figure I'm a very visual person, so being able to kind of see the difference is always helpful. So to see if I can give you a side-by-side -side on this, Let me see if I can tilt that a little bit further. All right. So this compared to, if I can try and kind of line the crotch up naturally, this is going to be the difference between a full rise and a mid rise in gray. Just something to keep in mind because again, depending on your body shape, one might be more suitable for you than another. And especially with all of us holed up kind of under uh, informal house arrest and eating our anxiety, at least for the next few days, um, your body type might change a little bit. So even if this information wasn't help, you know, wasn't germane to you right now, in a week or two, it might be a little bit more useful. So like I said, hope it's useful. Uh, it's just something that I haven't seen anybody really delve into deeply, so I wanted to just give you a quick side-by-side. -side. Um, hopefully you've seen a slight uptick in the production value. I now have an actual microphone and a ring light, so um, we're slowly getting there. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at at this point. I um, hope everybody is safe and uh, appropriately prepared for you know whatever we got coming down the pipe. And uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe.